Well, hello everybody, this is Rio. I'm very happy to have a presentation today. The topic of the, uh, my subject is a new era of uh, presentation. The new generation of presentation will happen from the studio I'm using. This is called iStudio, which means every people can use that studio by themselves. So all the classroom video from Blackboard can be transferred to uh, the uh, iPhone or smartphone. That's why the classroom can be connected to any smart media in the world. That's why new generation of presentation may happen if you solve several problems that I am trying to solve from the iStudio machine. Now my studio looks like this. I can make a bigger and also I can make a smaller. So whole, whole this room looks like very nice. So I can show you how iStudio working. So it's like all the broadcasters are doing whenever they do new video recording. The first step, the first step they are doing is to selecting nice studio, decorating, and also putting all the different cameras. So eventually they have a different camera angle moving the camera from here to another area. So it looks like a different uh, view showing on the screen. And also you can go that way or the other way like this. So this is the, how the broadcast is doing. Every five to 10 seconds they changing scene so the students will bring attention because of the graphic change. So we bring exactly same idea to the studio in the class. So instead of uh, inviting teachers to the studio, we bring the virtual classroom to every classroom, every place where you are doing live presentation. So I will show you how we change the studio before I start the presentation. So for example, now I'm doing whole presentation in this environment. The notebook here, small document camera there. So if I click the document camera, you see this room have only one person that I'm doing all operation and presentation alone. That means this studio is presenter studio for presenting all the information in the studio. And immediately if I click the button, then it converts to million dollar studio. It looks so much more beautiful and attention bring and the interest to the students. So uh, the next step is when you have studio, you have the uh, tools to change studio completely. For example, if I I bring the uh, different wall. I can bring the wall like uh, this kind of wall. Then we have a completely transparent wall showing all outside. And then the outside image, I can bring the image like this way. Or for example, the image uh, like that way. So it looks like we have studio in the building, uh, cities and so on. And then I can also change the floor where we can use uh, all the nice uh, color flowers or this kind of wood colors I can select. And again, I can change the desk. So let's say this kind of desk or that kind of desk I can use. Let's select this desk as uh, today's presentation. Again, all this operation is real time I'm doing from the studio. So the, uh, the topic of today, we will show you the several important interesting uh, things that the classroom we are using in every school has to have some way to bridging the classroom video to the real smartphone. So I will explain you what's the limitation of live classroom. It looks like very important of classroom doing, but actually there is a uh, several things we have to point out. Second one is history of presentation, that what kind of presentation technology has been used in each classroom. The third one is how we record or broadcast the content in the classroom to the outside to make a video, as like I'm doing right now. And I'm shortly explain how iStudio is working. So I will explain the advantage and innovations of iStudio, as like I'm explaining right now from my machine here. So if you look at the uh, live classroom, that means every school, if you go every uh, university, uh, middle school, senior high school, the first impression is they divide every classroom 50 to 100 people. So every student sitting here will have listened live lecture, live classroom. 
the live broadcasting actually in the broadcasting studio as you uh, uh, know there is very huge live lecture live broadcasting happening most of them is using pre-recorded video that's why the live is very dangerous but every classroom depending on teacher's condition depending on the student's in, uh, environment the teacher students the communication is heavily influenced the quality of lecture and there is no constant quality for the lecture there. Uh, once again, in the live lecture, if you really see how many students really understand, so live lecture is not always the best. That's what I am emphasizing. And how many students understand their daily lecture 100%? From my investigation, I checked several schools. I ask the same question, how many percent of students really understand the lecture? Surprisingly, more than 90% of students doesn't understand more than 50% of lecture. This is a true story. This is a good result. Generally, 90% of students doesn't understand less than 20% of content teachings. That's what the real happening from Korea. I'm not sure how many percent of your students has a understanding, but actually very similar results you will have. So we need to have something different way. So we are trying to bring different technology, how we make efficient way of teaching. Another thing we, I want to emphasize is the presentation area thousands of thousands value presentations happening in everywhere. They have uh, seminars, they have education presentations, all the classroom lectures. How many videos are coming through internet or how many videos you can see which is similar level as live lecture? Unfortunately, 99% of presentation is not recorded. The second one is how many English teacher in every country has? How many mathematics teacher going there? This is every classroom, every million classroom has a teacher who is similar teaching together. The teachers are repeating the same lectures in different places at different times. This is what happened right now. Even we are living in year 2012, which is the most advanced technologies are available, but this is happening in every classroom. So what I'm emphasizing is we should find a way how we make a valuable video which can share together. Valuable way how one teacher doing million, uh, million classrooms simultaneously. So we have to point out why no lecture video is available in every class. And you will understand something from my video right now. How we make a valuable live lecture we can create from the classroom. That's why the Bill Gates make a 20 million budget for education change. If any person contribute, he is ready to invest, support such an educational revolution. So let me first shortly explain what kind of history of presentation, education tools has been used in uh, in the history. The blackboard, which I'm showing here, is a really black color board, has been used a long time, from several hundred years. Can you guess how many years has been used this blackboard? From my investigation, say 1801, just 210 years ago, the first, world first slate based blackboard came out in the industry and then 1846 after 40 years 45 years later first industrial chalk color chalk happened and long time later like uh, 100 years later people develop overlay projector 
this not overlay but overhead, overlay by the vinyl, transparent things, so they make a transparent paper to road draw. And then this one have a, like a, a movie a machine, they have a projector. So this is first time, and after about 40 years later, world first LCD projector from Projector Vision company make, very expensive machine, but very attractive way they make. And then three years later, world famous company, Smart, invent electric wipe so we can make a project a screen drawing kind of things. And now, after year 2000, the world changed to make a high-speed internet at the same time every people working for compression, video streaming and high-speed 3D graphics eventually now, year 2007 people start bringing video on the YouTube that's a very short history just 10 years ago we have no high-speed network now, more than 10 Mbps in many places at least 1 Mbps is everywhere which now the video I'm using is one megabps exactly. So this video, this quality, can use everywhere in the world. This is a very uh, interesting moment that year 2007, iTunes U, make a huge video on the server so every school can share. After two years, YouTube start 300 universities, 65,000 lectures they put. Now, a lot of video coming to this area for showing all the video. So we expect huge amount of video lecture from university in everywhere come to YouTube so every people can share. Let's check what kind of things happening in the classroom. The classroom from 60 people now changing to 400 to 1500 people. So such a huge places they have a screen they have pro presenter there. But as you look here the presenter's face still small while the projector become 200 inch and very bright uh, screens coming out but presenting is not only presenting material but also presenter's face very important like I'm doing sometimes I am putting myself bigger and sometimes I bring myself very uh, wide with a, a relaxed scene there something like this kind of controlling make a students very exciting so the presenting any materials the presenter is sometimes more than important than any other things. But when you have screen like this, the presenter's face from this point to this point too small. This is problem. So we need some way to combine and recording. So this is the, uh, the diagram that how many people are listening in each class. All the time, the classroom is a voice sound and the whiteboard there. After that they have uh, 50 people can listen. Sometimes they have an uh, overhead about 100 people, 200 people and now we say 200, 400 or sometimes 1000 people can watch. But what happens for 50,000 people and some video in YouTube they have a million people watching. There's a trend from classroom to smart world which means from 50 people to million people can see the classroom. The lecture in YouTube looks very simple to put video there, but actually what Time Magazine mentioning is more than 10,000 US dollar they need to put to make a video per course. The lecture capture, editing, all the device and technology is not so cheap and not so easy as we expected. That's why content for public, the valuable lecture from your classroom, need a lot of technology and labors. Today, you are watching live lecture from me, which you can compare the quality from YouTube and quality from this small space I'm doing right now. So the, uh, once we have a video which has a really nice things, then we can use this one in the classroom so every student who coming to classroom, they select video every five to 10 minutes, depending on subject, they saw, make us some question and answer, and then go next step. That way, every student can spend time, their own learning time in the classroom. They owning the class instead of teacher owning the class. 
That kind of things will happen not only in the classroom but also over the world. So close learning environment, content streamed over the smart world will happen eventually, I believe. So we need nice way to make a video presentation using the new device. That's what I am emphasizing that new paradigm of education will be presented today and all the feeling and answer from your side will be uh, made today. So uh, let's shortly explain what the lecture capture problem happened. Lecture capture, lecture recording. Right now you have a live presentation from myself like this way or I can make a, a camera switching to that way or that way. It's a different way. The lecture capturing from classroom is not simple as I mentioned. Let's see what kind of lecture capture device is available in the, in the market. So difficulties in lecture capture happening from the structure of the classroom. Sometimes they have a whiteboard, sometimes they have a blackboard, sometimes they have a video player, a lot of things they have using some document camera and so on. So the making presentation video in real time is very complicated and need a very advanced technology. That's why if you see all this environment, like e-learning environment, it's not so easy to have a camera recording and editing. Imagine if you have a 50 minute or 30 minute video from three cameras in the classroom, how many times do you need to edit for making 30 minute lecture? You need a, at least a week or a two week for editing. That's a huge work to make a real video from everywhere. That's why they invent a new method, which is a lecture capture, has in, have a lecturer in the corner, and they have a PowerPoint there. Eventually, whole video has a two separate window. They have 30 minutes. Imagine if you watch this video more than 30 minutes, this become very boring for the uh, students. And then the YouTube, they have uh, editing with uh, several camera switching. This is also a way the other one is that they have a switch and mixer to make a picture-in-picture -picture, uh, changing switching and Microsoft have uh, this kind of uh, method where the teacher is there and another PowerPoint there. A lot of technologies has been used in this industry so far. And after that they have a web page, e-learning, uh, LMS, whatever. They have a lecture here, they have a PowerPoint there. And this one bring two eye point, focal point watching there. But the way I'm doing, like uh, this way, sometimes we go screen there, sometimes we go uh, small screen, sometimes we make a small but bigger presenter. That brings automatically the students uh, the place to see. So they don't have to worry where they have to see like this method, but they have a very dynamic way with changing by the presenter. That's why the whole machine, even scene selection, has to be made by the presenter. That's why today I'm emphasizing this method will bring very different way. Sometimes they make a full screen like this, sometimes they make a PowerPoint only. This is the new idea we are bringing on this uh, uh, presentation. One more thing I want to show you is when you have uh, the virtual uh, environment like this, then we have a very interesting tools that the 3D object which is a virtual experiment we can do. For example, I can bring the Earth like that. And then we can make this one slightly smaller or bigger. And that way, we have all 3D objects. For example, I can bring this kind of uh, 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 object. And then I can bring bigger. And then there, we can make a whole experiment using the DNA graphics. Imagine, once you make one graphics, 3D tools using engineer, we just spend several hours, maybe four hours they can make one DNA. Then we can duplicate this DNA without paying any money. No production, just copy, 10,000 copies spreading all over the world. That means all education tool we can share. Once we have device virtual world, there are a huge amount of things we can share to collaborate to make a better education in everywhere. So that's what we are emphasizing today to bring new uh, lecture capture and also device for virtual reality world. Let's summarize what kind of uh, a requirement we need to have a, a lecture capture like I'm doing. The first important thing is 
it has to be real time devices. It has to create all the video in real time by the operation of presenter. So they don't need any editing for video creation. They spend time from just a lecture room and that's it. They have a video. The second one is it has to be so easy that any people who doesn't know equipment has to learn within 10 minutes without any difficulties. It has to be very easy, so it has to use everywhere, in every country, every place. The third one, which is most important thing, is the video output from that device, which is created by real time, which is operated by the presenter himself, has to create the video which is compatible or better than the live classroom. So all the students who is watching this video don't have to come to listen to the classroom. Imagine you are watching my video in London hotel. So I'm doing this video from Korea. I send the video by FTP. Then uh, my Tarim uh, Jamie is showing this video from her notebook. So if you really think I need to be there to have a live presentation, then I can say this device has some limitation. But now if you agree that this video really replaces the live lecture, that I don't have to come there, or you don't have to come here to listen to my lecture, I don't think I will do better presentation than my video which I'm showing you right now. That's why the video created from the iStudio machine has to be better than the live. If video is better than the live, means this video can go everywhere to have multiple presentation. That's why the number four is very important that the video created from this machine has to be enough compressed so it can be spread over the world without paying any special money. Just normal internet, they should have capability of sharing, spreading everywhere together. Then education really can be collaborative. One teacher's content can be spread over the world and every student can select their style of teachers and their goal is anyway getting knowledge. We can achieve this one together. Today I show some way of making video in real time. I believe you already got the answer how this device, this technology will change the human education history. I really hope you understand what I'm trying to. Even my English is not perfect. I hope you understand uh, the uh, willing I'm trying to explain you. I really appreciate uh, listening to my uh, presentation. Hope we share all together our knowledge and our experience. Thank you very much.